Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to GM Cubing. And today I'll be doing a review on the Yushin Black Kirin 3x3. I don't think it's V2. I think that's the Kylan. But yeah. Um, um before the before we start the video, be sure to check out my previous video. We modded this 3x3 to become a bandage cube. A um bandage cube um A? No wait. Yeah, this is A. B's next. That's the next modification I'm gonna do of a different three by three. And C's gonna be the last one because it's the hardest one to make. In the previous video, I accidentally said A was the hardest one. This one's A. Sorry about that. Just want to clarify that. But um, yeah. So we just use some super glue, really super glue, and a screwdriver to loosen it and stuff like that. You wait about thirty minutes or so. But yeah, please go check out that video, um, just to learn how to do it. So yeah, let's get right into the video about this. This is the main topic of the video. That, go check out the other video. But yeah, um, before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It only takes like not even a second. P turn on post notifications too while you're at it. And also leave a like and comment if you um, have anything you want to say. Um, also, please follow me on Amino at GMCubingYT18. And also join my Amino community. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Because I will be live streaming on there too. Once we get around 4 to 5 people other than me on there. I will be live streaming on there every so often. Every every now and again. So yeah, let's get into a review. So out of the box, the tensions, they're pretty good. They're up to my standards. Here's my current main and... They're just about the same. These are just a little bit looser. But yeah, we're going to check corner cutting and we're going to compare it to the, my main. We're going to see how good it is. So corner cutting. Can it do 45? Yes, it can. Mine, my main, it can do over 45. Let's be honest. Over 45. Let's see, right here. No, not really. Can't really do over 45 as much as this one can. Let's see how far we can go right there. Yep, it can do that. Right here. Yep, it can do that. Reverse. Half a piece, easy. Half a piece, easy. One piece, easy. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. That's very smooth. Ooh, full piece. Okay, that wasn't so easy. A little bit over a full piece, like slightly over. Obviously, you can't do that because that's about 45. So yeah, this one's definitely better. This one's slightly better with reverse corner cutting than my main. So, normal corner, so corner cutting, we're going to get one point to each. And I'll tell you if it is better than my main. I will have a scorecard right here. Let me write this stuff. Let me write the scores now. Oh, those are my stylus for my own computer. There we go. All right, so here we go. We got um, Kieran. I know, my handwriting's atrocious. Don't roast me. M F three R S three round one corner cutting they tied so I'll give one point each now we're gonna get turning speed so I'm gonna do a couple of algorithms so we're gonna do a Y frame. All right, that's going to be an issue if that's going to happen. But that's the first time it's ever happened to me while I was using this cube. Um, yes, I've used this cube before. Um, I actually got this cube on Thursday. I ordered that. I ordered it. Um, I ordered a package. And I also have another cube that I want to show you guys. But that will be in a separate video. But here's a quick sneak peek of it. We're going to... Walk over here real quick. Yeah, we're gonna have a video on that. Sooner or later. But yeah, let's get back into the main video. Right now. Alright. 
So Y firm. I definitely like this better with the Y firm. Granted, this is smoother, but like every so often, like I'll get a lockup on this on that cube or on this cube. Okay, I guess I'll get lockups on this one too. But wow. Let me see. Okay. So, honestly, I like the turning on both of them. So, we're going to write T for turning on each side. Alright, uh, we'll just do a couple of algorithms. H firm. Now, I feel like I can go faster on this one with the H firm, so. Well, I like both of their turning a lot, but I don't know which which one is better at turning, so we'll just do a simple H firm on both real quick, and I'll time it, and I'll see which one I can do faster. So we're gonna start with the main. Okay, yeah, I messed that up. All right, here we go. All right, 2.4 for this, for the um, MF3 RS3. All right, 2.5, but I, I'm, I slipped a little bit. So I'll give it one more chance. Yep, and there's a lock. Oh, whoa. Okay, let's try that one more time. 2.5 again, but yeah, so I guess I'll give this one to my main I'll give it a slight advantage one zero So currently my mf3 rs3 has two Kieran has zero the turning is actually pretty good And this is how I'm gonna do reviews from now on I'm gonna do reviews on uh, New cubes and compare them to my mains but yeah, alright, so, obviously not for the sneak peek that I gave you of the really, really big cube, but, um, it's just, like, the feeling. Feeling, F for feeling. Let's see. Let me get a Rubik's brand, because I feel like that's what it sounds like. So we got a Rubik's brand right here. Let's see how this sounds. I'm just doing a Y firm. See, the, wait. The Kieran sounds like a Rubik's Cube, like a Rubik's brand, but just quieter and I really like the sound out of the box whenever I first got it, when I first opened it. And when it, when you turn it, it's a nice sandy feel. It's like swishy a little bit. It's a swishy feel. It goes really well. Well, this one, it's just like, it's just like straight up quiet. Pretty quiet, I'm not gonna lie. And it is just silky smooth. This one, on the other hand, has a swishy feeling that I actually really like. So I will give feeling, in my opinion, to the Kieran. So we're tied at two. Now we're gonna do, um, let's see what else there is that I haven't covered yet. Um, sticker quality. Well, I've done well over 300 solves, and uh, 400 solves with this. And over those 400 solves, we got some sticker peeling right here, a little bit here, and a little bit here, 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 and here, and a little bit on the center cap. 
yellow flawless, blue flawless, little chip here and a little chip here, little chip here and a little chip here. That's over 400 solves. So that's sticker quality, considering it's over 400 solves and that only that much has come off. That's pretty good. Now this, it doesn't, it doesn't have stickers. It has um tiles. So that's not gonna happen. Now with the tiles, you can't take them off and change the color scheme. So you're kind of stuck with this color scheme. But I actually like the color scheme. The orange, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty much the same as the Warrior W and the Warrior S. The green is basically the same. Red, basically the same, just this one's a little darker. Blue saying this is just darker. Yellow, obviously going to be the same, and white's obviously going to be the same. Um, color, stickers, S. Or in this case, tiles. I'm giving this one a zero. I'm giving this one the point. Just because the stickers are never going to come off. Stickers. Because it's tiles. Now, we're going to do times. So we're going to split this off. We're going to do one solve on each. Jeez, this pen don't work. We're going to do one solve on each, and we will see what happens. So we're going to start with my main. So I'm going to just do a simple hand scramble. Let's see what happens, because I don't have anything else on hand right next to me anyways. That was a bad cross. Okay, so for the MF3 or S3, 33.871. And for the Kieran, let's get a simple hand scramble in. Now, I'm not usually color neutral, but I just saw a really good cross with the orange one. So that's why I'm going with the orange. Oh. Okay, that definitely would have been sub 30, but 30.921. So, this gets the point, this doesn't. Final score. Final score, Kieran, five? I mean, I'm stupid, I can't count. Kieran gets four, and... The MF3RS gets two. Okay, then. Yeah, be like that. Yeah, come on, pen. There, now you want to work. Kieran gets two. I mean, MF3RS gets three, gets two. So, this cube only cost around... I can't remember what it was off the top of my head... But I'm pretty sure this was about $6 off of speedcubeshop.com. And this one was about $10 off of speedcubeshop. So I would, I definitely, do I like this one better than this one? Yes. Is this going to be my my new main? Maybe. I, maybe it could be the May long. 
I switched the pieces with a Shang Chao and Mr. M. That's the only reason why it has the corners like that. But I I had a huge magnetizing fail with my main long, so I'ma just like order a cosmic version of it that's magnetic. So that one would probably be my new main after this one. This is just gonna be my temporary main main until I get the new main long. The cosmic main long. But yeah, until then, Karen wins. MF3RS3 does not win. So that's all for this video, guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, just, I'm just looking at, the, look at. The, this is my opinion, my opinion only, and I prefer this cube. All right. So that's it for this review and video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, follow my amino at. GM Cubing YT18, and please join my Amino community. I will leave a link to that in the description below. And I, I, I also said I was going to give a shout out to my friend that is a YouTuber as well. Shout out to Jaden Hall. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description below as well. He does he doesn't do anything related to cubing. But he does make some vlogs and stuff, and I am in one of them. So you guys will actually be able to see my face in one of them. If um you look closely, I'll tell you this much. It is in the homecoming vlog. So be sure to and I'm in there and I'm in, I'm in the video towards the end. So be sure to um check out that video. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below as well. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Join my amino, follow me on amino, and peace out. Oh